So I gotta tell you, I am not a huge fan of AI. So I have to at least preference this video to say I normally do not recommend a lot of AI prompts or a lot of AI tools on this channel. I did have a video earlier about AI, but I'm not a huge proponent. I think it's great in limited capacities, but that being said, I am still not an overall generic fanboy of everything AI. That being said, for specific tools and usages, I do think it has its place in time. One being Gemini AI, which is through Google. Now this is through Google Workspace, so it is a paid for service, but I do like this tool. So I have my email open right here, and I'm looking for is I want to find an email I have through American Airlines, and it references my flights that I made last month from San Diego and Santa Barbara. Now, if I search Gmail, and I try to type in a phrase like, help me find the email from American Airlines that includes SBA, which was Santa Barbara, and SAN. If I just try to type this phrase, I'm just gonna save it so I can copy it in Gemini later. It kind of doesn't give me everything I'm looking for. It really just, I'm gonna blur these out just for reference points because they are a little personal. So it didn't actually land me the American Airlines email that I'm looking for. It's just kind of like, I don't know what you're looking for, maybe kind of, sort of, but not really. So basically what I want to do is I want to head over to this Gemini option and in Gemini enter a prompt here. I'm going to do the same thing and say, help me find the email from American Airlines that includes SBA and SAN. So again, SBA being Santa Barbara's code and SAN being American Airlines or San, San Diego SAN. So all of a sudden what it did is it pulled a reply from the email and said, basically, here's your flight. It was on Wednesday, July 16th. And it really gave me all the information I'm looking for right away. And so it's a great way to then say, okay, here's a way to pull information from the emails and basically say what's going on inside of it. Now, it also gave me kind of conditions of contract and whatever else, but it can help you summarize emails into your Google Workspace Gmail. Now, why am I recommending this at all? It's because Chat, GTP, Claude, and all the other ones out there can't access your email. And I'm not saying that you're, you should not have your emails accessed because you should have them private. It's your confidential information. But within Gemini and Google, it can read your emails. I know that sounds very scary. And at first I was like, whoa, but it did help me look for a couple pieces of information. I'm like, where is this email? I'm trying to find it. I do fly a lot. So I was trying to find the specific email and it was difficult to use at first using the simple search box at the very top. But once I use Gemini email, I can say, please show me the email inside of Gmail. And so what I can do is that I can basically say, show me the email I'm looking for. And basically it did find the top search was my trip confirmation. And just like that, it showed me the actual email on the left-hand side, but it also summarized the flight as well. And it gave me information that was really easy to digest and read. Oh, that's what it was. That's the flight. So I searched for a for sure search topic but it just helps me look for things inside of my Gmail because I've got hundreds of thousands of emails. You might as well. So while I don't generally recommend, I'm gonna say it again, I don't generally recommend Chat, GTP, Claude, and those other tools. I do like the fact that with the Google Workspace, you are paying for it. And the basic level comes with Gemini AI. Well, I always say, I keep saying AI, but Gemini AI, and it is a search company after all, so it kind of makes sense. But using Gemini in my email world does help me find things quicker. If I'm looking for something specific I can search for, I know it's there, I just can't find it. That's kind of my pro tip for Gemini AI inside of Google Workspace Gmail.